Good morning, everybody. John here at Sarger Reds. Another beautiful day at Sarger Reds. Um, so this morning, I just got here. I guess it's, uh, yeah, it's 1130. Um, just had a gentleman come in. I know a lot of people have been asking me about die casts and Hot Wheels and Matchbox and all that stuff. Um, I did have a gentleman who I've dealt with before who had a bunch of this stuff. Just bring some in. I'll show you um, a sneak peek on some of the items he just got. Um, I'll tell you, honestly, I hate going through Hot Wheels. Not my thing. These are all from the 90s. Um, they're all carded. But let me flip this around. I'll show you guys. So the main reason I don't like dealing with the Hot Wheels, not that I don't like the cars, I do like the cars, they're, they're cool looking, um, they're neat, but the problem is a lot of these things, the barcodes are exactly the same on them, so when I go to scan them in, to pull them up on, online to, to see if uh, there's anything special about them or price them out, with the old ones obviously, the new ones are all the same price, um, as far as I, I'm concerned when I buy the new ones, but when I scan them, they all pop up, like all of them, because they all have the same barcode, so if there's like five different ones in this set, and you scan that barcode, um you have to kind of go through it all either that or i'm typing so but there are some cool ones in here there's i think 525 of them um of the individually packed hot wheels so there's a ton of them i think they're from like the 90s most of them um this box has 125 of them in it kind of just give you guys a sneak peek i mean some of the, the packaging like looks like it's a little dinged up over here but i might just straighten out oh, so there's matchbox and hot wheels so we got tailgater so that's cool looking right it's like an alligator car. I'd drive that. I'd rock that around town. Looks like there's some interesting looking ones in here. So like these would be the ones, and I don't know if these would be the ones that are worth more just because they're interesting. To me, I think they're interesting. So I would I would think that you'd look them up and they'd be a little more than just a regular car. But I'm not a car guy. So, ooh, wait, wait. Ho, ho. What do we have here? I can't show this to Little John. Actually, I'm probably going to have to give him this for Christmas. So I hope he doesn't watch this video. But the Oscar Mayer Wienermobile. He used to have a little Wienermobile... Uh, toy when he was a kid and i don't know what happened to it but found another one it wasn't the same one but so these are all hot wheels matchbox die, die cast i mean there's motorcycles there's dogs there's hot dogs i mean we still have the wall set if anyone needs the pink floyd the wall oh this is another box of stuff i just brought from the warehouse we had some power rangers and um some lunch boxes in there so i'm gonna get that stuff out today that was stuff i brought in before this gentleman brought in all these uh hot wheels and Matchbox and Diecast. So here's a lot more of them in here. Again, a little dusty. This stuff's been in storage for a couple decades. But um, yeah, there's motorcycles, there's cars, all kinds of jazz. These came in yesterday through our uh, FedEx man brought a, a big case of stuff, and one of them was Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. So we got some uh, Marvel Legends and stuff in too. So my intake area is getting full. And I'm getting stuff out on the floor. But we have um, some Transformers Masterpieces. These came in the other day as well. All the brand new. Well, they're all brand new. I think they're from 2007, I think. 11. But we got those in. So, uh, see what else we have here. I'll show you guys anyways. I know what's in there because I looked. So then there's some of these like little sets. So here's an actual older one. I think this is the only like old, old one. That one's for like 76. It's probably 20 bucks. Um... And then we have just some real wheels. Again, there's a lot of a lot of the stuff's dusty. It's been in the garage for a while. So like this one, I don't know if this was from a box set. So it's in a Hot Wheels bag. Um, it's sealed and it's inside the box. And so I'm not sure how that came to be. I don't know if it was a mail away or what. So if any of you uh, diecast fanatics out there know, please let me know. That'd be awesome. Super cycle with a Kmart tag. I love these old price tags. I don't think there's, and there's no more Kmart's in Michigan. I don't know if there's some still out there um, throughout the realms. And we have Haunted Haulers. Those are pretty cool. That's uh, Neckwrecker, according to the check mark. So it looks like there's a couple of those in there. And again, like a lot of these, I think these real wheels, these are older. I have a couple of these on the shelf. I want to say these are from the 80s. Um, but this was from, I don't know, it was just general merchandise. So we got a lot of that kind of stuff. So there's a bunch of different stuff. It's not all this year. I don't want to use the term generic, but you know, it's not all the blister cards um, like that. So there's some multi packs or some bigger vehicles. Um, I already pulled some out that I was looking at. So we have some of these uh, star cars. So you have like the taxi. You have Grease. Um, you got Happy Days. Stuff like that. And then we have more stuff in there. Let me take these top boxes off. All right, so we have a little Rubbermaid treasure chest here. So again, this is more of the um, kind of like gift packs and, and stuff like that, the multi-packs. 
a little dusty enough a little uh a little wipe down won't help got some micro machines terminator judgment day micro machines okay that's cool i didn't know they made those micro machines did a lot of stuff i know they had star wars ones and and stuff like that i didn't know they made a terminator one the motorcycle looks like the batmobile down here So that's cool. Ertl Batmobile. That was on clearance for a buck back in the day. 89. That one's cool. I'm going to set that one aside. So stuff like that I would imagine would be a little bit, a little more valuable than uh, your generic car. I could be wrong. Again, I'm not a expert on die cast by any stretch of the imagination. But I've had a lot of... I, if I could talk. I've had a lot of people asking about it. So It's funny because this is a case that I brought from the warehouse to put up today. And it's all Hot Wheels Speed Racer stuff from 2007. So there's a ton of that. That stuff's going to be going out. And this is just stuff I brought that I was going to be putting out. And it's funny that um, he brought all this stuff in too today. Then there's a couple of random little things. This is like Magic Grow. Like, uh, it's like something you'd probably find on a rack at a grocery store. And an old uh, 1998 yo-yo. And Steel Tech Power Wrench from Remco. That was just stuff he had. He threw in with all the Hot Wheels and matchbox and we got another 30 hot wheels in here again just like a generic mix of cars it looks like i should count these and then if it doesn't have 75 we're gonna have to have a chit chat he's been there a couple times i bought some um other toys from him so i'm sure the count's accurate and again, just more kind of generic Hot Wheels. Another another Oscar Mayer wiener right there. That looks like a... Uh, I thought it was like a Batmobile or something. It's not. And last but not least, the biggest problem is trying to get all this stuff cleared up and out of the way um, before people get in here. So again, just some... Uh, some more like sets or whatever so that one's oh it's a treasure hunt series so maybe that's why that's inside of a inside of that case there i'll have to look that one up but that one was in a separate little case and you got the harley davidson stuff and you know everyone there's, there's a lot of uh, people who love harley davidson so the harley stuff might have a little more value than the regular stuff here wait a second i see Brennan and stimpy tushy touching try me Okay, what do you do? Uh, maybe they used to talk, I don't know. Nope, they don't do anything. Batteries are probably toast on those. Oh, they're pretty cool. Everyone loves Ren and Stimpy. Or they should, anyways. So, that's what we got here today. Um, just happened to walk in. A lot of times we'll get cold calls where people will bring in stuff and... Sometimes uh, we buy it, sometimes we don't. But I've had a lot of you guys asking about diecast, so we ended up picking up this collection. Let me show you guys some more of the stuff in the shop. I always like to do a kind of walkthrough when I do these videos if I'm at the shop so you guys can see what's come in. I know a lot of you have noticed new stuff. Obviously, we put new stuff up all the time. But um, that doesn't belong there. So we got the, the 3D NECA uh, Jason in. Get two of those. How did that end up there? I didn't put it there. That's gonna fall. Put stuff back where it goes, people. Um, I don't know if we got any new NECA since the last video. I know we got all the horror ones in. Uh, the only new Mego we got was the Killer Clown, but I think I showed you that. And then just the random stuff that we kind of throw up, like we got some new toys, not new toys, or old Toy Story stuff. Um, we did move those three display cases, so we got some of the Batman stuff here from the uh, original series i think that came out in 2000 2000 ish the dc ones so we already sold the batmobile and then uh, a couple of the figures but we brought these um little tabletop games in those are from the 80s house they all work we tested them all um, they're all in good shape secret wars stuff we got out here with the cards these are all complete figures as far as the secret wars go um some of the superpowers are missing some pieces and i finally put the dunnies out so i got those out there we have some of the D&D stuff in here. Again, I'm trying to fill up all these showcases um, with some new interesting stuff. Uh, we got some new 
He-Man figures in here. We just kind of replace stuff as we go. We got the uh, dark face Grizzlor back there. Scareglow. Here's some new stuff that we got in. We had to restock on the delinquents with combs. We got the wind-up high fives. Everyone needs a wind-up high five, right? Um, almost out of those. We got the battling bard. So, William Shakespeare punching puppet. It's one of those ones where you pull the thing inside and the, uh, the puppet punches you. So, not only do we have William Shakespeare, the battling bard, but we have, well, we had to get more emotional support chickens because we sold out of those. We got Rosie the Riveter punching puppet. So, same thing. A puppet that uh, boxes. I think I showed you guys that. I'm trying to see if there's anything else new that we got in. We finally got all this carnival glass out and priced. Um, and then we just kind of rearranged some of the stuff. So, we moved all the G1 Transformers over here because we did pick up a giant collection of G.I. Joe um, stuff that we are putting out. So, I'm getting all the vehicles out. Um, and getting them in here. These are all complete. Everything you guys see in the showcases, unless it says otherwise, um, it's complete. So the, the tactical transport or uh, transportable tactical battle platform, that's complete with the manuals, all the paperwork's in there. We did sell the complete st Sky Striker we have, but I have another one that's going to go in there and replace it. Um, we have some of these computer warriors, kind of a goofy little line, um, but we picked those up in a little collection. So we threw those in there. Some more figures. We've had to replenish this several times. Luckily, we have tons of Joes. We did just buy a G.I. Joe collection. I'm editing that video now, so it's actually took place before this, and this is some of the stuff from it. So you'll see that video here so shortly um, as I finish it up. And I'm trying to walk slow, guys. I know it's, uh, sometimes I walk a little fast through here. Um, again, the Bill and Ted's, we got a, a case of those in. I'm kind of going through most of this stuff. You know, a lot of this stuff... We'll put one or twos out as we um, sell stuff that's on the shelves. We're almost out of the uh, Monty Python stuff. So there's one more Holy Hand Grenade, one more Black Knight, and two more of the Rabbit. So we did a video well, many moons ago, probably three years ago, I don't even remember, where I bought a storage unit um, from a gentleman down in Virginia. And he always has um, a Christmas car. So every year Hess would do this. I guess they're a gasoline company down south. I don't know if they have it up in Michigan, a Hess um, gas stations, but they would release these every year. Um, so, you know, we have the 1988. We have pretty much most of them going forward. Um, patrol car, fire trucks, all that stuff. So if you have someone who's into into vehicles and they collect trucks, not necessarily a Hess fan, but they like this, like they, they actually light up and they make noises and all that. So those are neat. We got the uh, the big What If Hydra Stomper and the uh, Apocalypse. Those came in. And then we got the Villain Wave in of the, um, the Marvel Legends. Just kind of do a slow walk so you guys can see what we have here. And again, we get new boxes in pretty much every day. But a lot of the DC stuff. We did get more of the retros. I feel really weird because I'm walking so slow, but I'm hoping this doesn't jar when I walk through. I've seen some other videos, and it's very jarring. Um, so we have some of the more um, recent Marvel Legends, these little retro guys. We just got the new wave in. So we have Hulk, Grey Hulk, Bullseye, Elektra. Um, Ant-Man, Black Panther, Cyclops, uh, Vision. So we got pretty much all those guys. We sold Captain Kirk. He's gone. I got to replace that. We've been selling these pretty steadily. So if you've tried them, if you've bought these and tried them and you didn't just buy them to give to people you don't like, let me know how they taste. I think we're almost out of a... Uh, we have two more of the leg lamps left. So those have gone pretty good. Um, a couple of Ralphies and the old man left. And again, guys, I'm kind of looking around as I go. Um, uh, so we have, uh, I brought those in today to put up. The, the He-Man there. And the Function X6, I think that's Robotech. And we, like I, sh I think I showed you this in the video. We had to move everything because we got the new display cases. And while Santa's here, we moved these up here. Um, we got the new Galvatron from the uh, War for Cybertron. Star Wars case has been replenished. Okay, so we have this Darth Maul like Rubik's Cube, and it was all twisted up and messed up. Several customers tried to get it, and then this uh, young gentleman came in, and he got it knocked out in, jeez, probably two minutes, if that. He goes, here, you're done. I'm done with it. Finished. I was like, okay, congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> None of us could get it, but this kid came in and did it. Um, so we've replenished some of the stuff in here. And the, uh, the vintage Star Wars case. We have two vintage Star Wars cases now. Uh, this is the Sears exclusive of the uh, transport. You can tell it doesn't have the electronics, but it has the orange cover on the back. It's a lighter gray, and it doesn't have red buttons because there are no electronics in it. 
Um, and that one, I guess they made it to have a lower price point than the actual one. So those are a little harder to find. So we have the um, Black Series Wedge's uh, helmet there, or visor. And we have, this is from the collection we just picked up with the Star Wars stuff. We have the speaker uh, phone. That's from 1983. And then this uh, the R2-D2 one's a little newer. We just got the vintage collection, um, uh, what's it called? Carbon Chamber in stock. So anyway, I have this, these tables back here have a lot more randomness on them. Um, it's kind of themed. You kind of have your Star Wars, Ninja Turtles, wrestling, Barbie stuff back here. Um, so there's probably new stuff back here I just don't remember putting up. So you guys might see new stuff as we wander. So I'm a wanderer. Yeah, a wanderer. So these are actually pretty cool, these Mirrorverse figures uh, McFarlane made. We have the entire run. I got a couple cases of them, but you have um, Goofy, Bell, Mickey, and Sully. But they're actually really nice figures. So those are back here. We have the uh, the Fraggle Rock, all the uh, McDonald figure or uh, little toys from Fraggle Rock when that came out. And again, back here we just kind of put all our Barbies. We have the wrestling stuff, video game stuff, and just kind of like a mix of fun stuff. So when you come back here, you're going to see something different every time. You know, if we get obscure just randomness, it goes back here typically. And our other Star Wars case, which we are getting a uh, full here. We have more carded figures in there. Um, some of the more expensive uh, newer ones there. But we have all the mini rigs are all in here. Those are all complete in the box. Down here we have a couple of these um, wind-up models. So the, the two Star Wars ones down here. You have um, the AT-AT and C-3PO. We have Jabba the Hutt action playset. That is complete. The Death Star is complete with everything, including the rope swing. The foam is actually still foam. It's not all mush. Um, the TIE Fighter, that thing's pretty pristine. And then we have some more, um, you know, more modern Star Wars here. So some some new stuff in here, guys. A lot of it, you know, obviously I don't move everything around every single day, but there's there's new stuff. And then I know if you've seen some of these videos before, you might recognize some of the stuff. Um, but we have some of the Black Series here. We do have some loose bagged um, Black Series down here. That's just been pretty popular. I think that's about it. I'm sure there's other stuff. I'm just not seeing it, but just kind of walk back over here I think I've showed you all the leg lamp that we have out front oh up here we just uh, kind of have some new stuff up we got the new alien bog lens uh, on top of these display cases it gives us a lot of a lot of room for nice stuff so this is an old cooler um, it's got like the styrofoam inside like an old Pepsi cooler that we have the old tray there got another Optimus Prime up here the 20th anniversary one I think that's the 25th anniversary one so they keep making them but anyways, guys, I'm going to get all this stuff off the floor, um, start pricing something and getting it on the floor, but cleaning up my section back here. Because if FedEx comes or if uh, someone else brings in the collection, I need to have some space to kind of work. So anyways, guys, thanks for joining us. I will catch you on the next one. Sarge out.